Welcome to our sixth video in our Scratch Skills. Welcome to our sixth video in our Scratch Skills series. In this video, I want to take a deeper look into variables and how we can use a variable to go between backdrops if we have a certain health or a certain score or something like that. So let's jump into it. Now we're going to use a blank template like normal, and I'm going to move the cat across. And just so we get a start, I'm going to include another sprite. Um, I'm going to use an arrow. I'll put the arrow here. Okay, and we need to make our cat move, so I'm going to quickly go and do that. You should all be pretty familiar with this now. Okay, and how we can do this quite fast. There we go. Okay, almost done. So right, left, up, down. Okay, cool. And let's see, is that working? All right. So what I'd like is for my cat to walk along go on to this health bar, or this, sorry, not health bar, go onto this arrow, and then that take him to the next page. But I don't want him to be able to do it unless he's got a certain score. So I'm gonna make another backdrop for a second page, and I'm just gonna go with the boardwalk. Okay. So I always set this up in this order. I don't know why, I just think it's easiest. I say, when we start, Go to, there we go. So no matter what, when I start the program, it's gonna bring me here. And just for now, let's set this arrow up so that when it's touched, it moves on to the next um, next page. So, we go. If, and I remember I've got the forever loop, so this code runs forever. If touching, and what is gonna to be touching, or the sprite, if touching, then move to the boardwalk. Let's see if that works to begin with. Yep, so it moves us to the boardwalk. Start again. So you can see that piece of code works. Okay, but I'm gonna make a variable now. So I'm gonna make a new variable. I'm gonna call this one, um, let's go money. Money. And I'm gonna set a way to collect the money Maybe let's go get a new sprite. Is there anything that looks like money in here? Or even treasure. Not really, is there? All right. Um, well, let's just go with a button then. So here, we'll call that the money. It looks kind of like a coin. So we'll say under our new little coin token, when we start forever, if the cat is touching, so if touching and change it to the sprite, if touching, then we'll say change money by one, and then we'll also say hide. So it should disappear. And when we start, we'll stay straight. So let, let's test that out first. Cool, now you can see we've got money of one. Um, just going back to the cat, let's start it with set money to zero. So when we start, that's there, there's no money up here. With our arrow, now what I wanna say is, and this is where it starts to get a little complicated, um, but if there's one money, then take to the next page. If there's no money, then stay here. So let's, let's look at how we code that. I'm gonna pull this out for now. So at the moment we've got if touching sprite then, but what we want, and this is, is gonna get a little bit hard here, but just follow along, hopefully it makes sense. If not, you can just copy the code. Um, you wanna grab this one here. So, and then we grab our variable, which is this one here, and you can drag this one in there. She's so saying, if bunny is larger than, and we're gonna write zero. So if money is larger than zero, then we want it to take us to the next page. But we also need an and. So if money is larger than zero and the sprite is touching, 
then switch the backdrop and put this back in. Okay, so we're saying if this money is here is larger than zero and the sprite is touching this arrow, then take us to the next backdrop. So let's try it out. So if I go here, nothing happens. And if I go down here and get the money, then it takes me to the next backdrop. Okay, let's try it one more time. Nothing happens. I get the coin and it takes me further. So you can see that's how we can use variables just there, whoops, just there. Um, that's how we can use variables to check whether or not we can go to the next page. Maybe in a game you're making or an app, you've got um, a store and you want the hero or whoever it is to only be able to get an item when they've collected a certain amount of treasure or experience or whatever it may be. That's how you would do it. So you're actually testing. Now the other thing you could do is you could remove the money once they've done it. So you could say, once they, that's happened, you could change money by minus one. So now he goes and collects it, he gets it, and then he goes through, and now his money's back to zero. So if he was purchasing something, that's how you would sort it out. So that's uh, that's our variables. That's more of an advanced way how we do them. I'm just gonna click on the three just in case you need to get any of the code down. Feel free to pause it. Um, but that that's kind of that advanced way in variables and how we can use it. So that's the advanced way of how we use variables, incorporating them into the if and then statements. If then and statements. If then and if then and statements. So I hope you learned something there and I'll see you in the next video.